Hey folks, and Merry Christmas, or Gujul, as they say in the south of Sweden. And it is weird because it's the 24th, not the 25th. And that's one weird thing or different thing about quite a lot of countries in Europe, actually, outside of the UK. Uh, the UK obviously celebrate Christmas on the 25th, but quite a few other European countries don't actually celebrate Christmas on the 25th, but instead on the day before the 24th. So Sweden and also Germany um, do that and they open their Christmas presents in the afternoon on the 24th. They have their kind of Christmas dinner or as they call it in Sweden, a Yule board, which is a Christmas table. And uh, yeah, open all the presents. So at the moment, I'm currently constructing my little boy's new track, which he is so excited about. But then we realised, despite the ridiculous cost of these plastic toys, they never come with batteries. And they always need the most awkward batteries ever. Those D, D ones, I think they are. The big chunky ones that no one ever, you'd think you would never use anymore. But this track does, typically. So they're off to get batteries. Um, and yeah, and then later on we're going to the um, the family's house, Swedish family side, to have the Yule board. And it's quite ironic, really. Because <laughs> almost all of her family hate Swedish traditional Christmas food. So at their Christmas Yule board, generally they don't have, I mean, they have like pots of herring and, uh, you know, seal and salmon and all of that. But they often have additional things. And actually, I'd like to think that I've helped the family in this respect because now they add pigs in blankets to the selection and most of them love them. But also, ribs. We're having ribs. And that's what I love about this modern Yule board. It's not the traditional old Swedish food that even many Swedes don't like, but it's a real combination, a hybrid. A bit like the English uh, Christmas dinner, if you think about it. It used to always be turkey, but in recent years when I was younger, we started having lamb and duck and even beef, um, yeah, rather than just turkey. So modernising for the positive, for the good. Anyway, I best crack on building this thing have a really good Christmas, everyone. I hope we have a really good 2021 as well, because we all need it, don't we, after this shitty year that we've just had. So have a really good day. Enjoy. And yeah, if you've got kids <laughs> that love Thomas the Tank Engine, like I do, then have fun and relax playing with them, because, you know, this is, for them, this pandemic shouldn't affect their Christmas. Let's give them the best one ever. And also, just to say thank you to each and every one of you who have subscribed, who view, who comment, who click thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope in 2021, this channel hits a thousand subscribers. So share this video, help me out, ask your friends to subscribe. And thank you very much, guys. Have a good Christmas.